in the last video i talked about registration criteria to online registration to examination and the results and in this video i'll be diving deep into the csit entrance syllabus but here is a quick disclaimer so this syllabus is prepared according to the old questions asked in TUIOST entrance examination from 2069 to 2079 BS. As of now, TU has not published any authorized syllabus for CSIT entrance examination of 2080. So yeah. So with that being said, let's start with mathematics. 25 questions are asked from mathematics subject which are based on curriculum of grade 11 with some additions from grade 12 as well. Here is the detailed syllabus. From algebra, 6 to 12 questions are generally asked. From trigonometry, a maximum of 3 questions may be asked. The question paper will consist of 1 or 2 from vector, 6 to 8 questions from calculus and remaining are asked from quaternary geometry. It's important to notice that there aren't any fixed number of questions from each topic. So according to the weightage of each topic, these classifications are done. And these are the important chapters for the examination under each branch of mathematics. So here is the first tip. Each day try to solve at least one model set for the entrance examination and try to do it at the same time and also try to complete it within two hours. The main point here is to train your brain to give exams because the last serious exam you gave was probably two or three or four months ago. So your brain might not be trained for that. So now that the dates for the exam are also out so you can plan your stuff in such a way that you can do at least one set per day so that you won't be surprised at the exams. Next up, we have the subject physics. From physics also, 25 questions are asked in the examination. Here, 5 to 7 questions are asked from mechanics, 3 to 4 from heat and thermodynamics, optics, electricity and magnetism and modern physics each, 2 to 3 questions from wave and sound, and 1 or 2 questions from electrostatics. Similarly, here is the list of chapters from each topic. Here is the second tip. When there are two seemingly correct answers and there is also an option that says all of the above, the answer is probably that. Now let's talk about chemistry. Chemistry also holds 25 marks in the entrance examination. 8 to 10 questions are asked from physical chemistry and inorganic each and remaining 7 to 8 questions are asked from organic chemistry. And here is the list of important chapters from each topic. Okay, if you have time, try to create cheat sheets, like not for the exams, don't take them to the exams, but for you to revise at home. Cheat sheet may contain like formulas or some standard values or something like that. So whenever you are free, you can uh, head over to that page or you, you can use that copy to revise all the formulas. So that helps a lot. So until now, we have talked about 75 marks worth of questions. Now next up, we have 15 marks from English. Here, 10 to 12 questions related to English grammar are asked and remaining questions are related to endonym, synonym and all the things. So here is the list of chapters that you need to keep in consideration while preparing for English. This next tip is a bit simple one. Try to solve the questions you know first because you don't know when the time is going to run out. So yeah, do the things you know first. Create your own shortcuts. So while preparing for my 12th board exam, when I had to study about the OSI reference model in computer, I created a shortcut to remember all the layers. So it was like, Aap se tan nahi dil paya. So it covered all the uh, layers in that architecture. So in that way, you can create your own shortcuts. Like there is no way that you are obliged to follow the standard shortcuts or something. So you can create your own shortcuts to make life easy for you. At last, 10 marks related to general information technology is asked. To be honest, I don't understand the fact as to why so little is asked from IT during entrance while the whole course is based on the subject, but that's to you for you. Anyway, here is the list of topics that are essential from IT section in the entrance examination. Next thing is try to eliminate answer rather than calculating them. So this mainly goes with mathematics. Like when you have practiced enough, you know which answer might be correct just at the first glance you know so try to eliminate them before you actually calculate because while eliminating only you might get into the answer very quickly so this was the video guys if you have any suggestions or if you have any query you can comment it down it below and i will try to answer them as fast as i can and also this is not again this is not the authorized syllabus that was published by TU. This is only the summarized version of it. I have taken this from the internet. So you can take this as a stepping stone or something like that and you can practice it. Now the exams are very near. So all the best to you all and I'll see you in the next one.